Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. This one is going to be brought to you by the company My First Wig. But before I get started on all the details, guys, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos. This one is going to be another straight out of the box review. With the My First Wig company, I can definitely trust that everything is already pretty much done for me. So it's easy for me to just put it on straight out of the box. Now this one I'm showing you guys is called April. Um, this one is in 16 inches. It's 130% in density. It is a yakky texture. The cap size that I have is one. As you guys can see, you get your soft Swiss lace. You get the two combs on the side, a comb in the back and your adjustable straps, and they also do do include an elastic band for you guys and the unit does come with the deep bleach knot so I love their deep bleach knots because I feel like they aren't over bleached at all so I'm just gonna place my wig on and just kind of see what it is looking like and what all I have to do to it now this one has been sitting in the box for a little bit so I am gonna have to lightly run my flat iron over it but I just want to show you guys what the hairline is looking like you do get a pre plucked hairline and then I'm also going to show you guys what the parting space looks like you do get your six inches of parting space throughout the front area so it is very very versatile you aren't gonna have to be stuck with wearing it on one side and it just looks natural all the way around so I'm gonna go ahead and clip the sides back and then I am going to work on cutting off the lace now as you guys can see this is a left side part they already pre parted it on the left side you guys know I am a right side part girl but for today I'm just gonna wear it as is and I do get plenty of questions like can you start parting some of your wigs on the left side this one already came like that so I'm not gonna have to do too much to it but that is what it is looking like once I cut the lace off on that one side it looks very very natural and with my first wig I don't have to worry about going in and cutting off any excess lace around my ear because it just fits me really well For today's install, I will be using the Bedhead Hardhead Spray. Now, if you do not want to use any type of adhesive or glue, you definitely can with this company. I have plenty of videos with this company showing me wearing their units glueless. So spray and adhesive is not needed unless you plan on putting this up in like a high ponytail or you are scared your sides are gonna flap off, but it always looks really natural. You can take a little bit of mousse and just kind of lay the hairline down. I wanted to go ahead and do it this way, especially because I have not filmed in so long. I wanted to get back re-familiar with filming and using all of these products. But I'm taking the blow dryer just to speed up the process, making sure to give extra TLC to the side so that it can lay down and melt in and dry all the way because it always takes the longest and sometimes they do end up popping back up. But I'm also pulling that hair out from the side. Um, by the ear because I do want to try to create a little bit of sideburns I've been trying to practice on those lately so I can get them to look natural So now I am just going to take the end of the rat tail comb and just kind of comb out some of those hairs that may have stuck to my face and that is what the hairline is looking like it looks really good you can always go in and pre-pluck the hairline a little bit more but I feel like it looks really good I don't like my hairlines to look really thin so I love theirs because I feel like it looks natural enough now I'm just going to take my scissors and go ahead and cut off some hair on the side so that I can have some sideburns and I'm not going to put any type of mousse or anything on them just because of this texture I want to keep it looking natural now once again this is a left side part guys you guys know I am I'm used to a right side part so I had to kind of figure it out as far as exactly how deep I wanted the part to go so I just kind of moved it around a little bit and then I put a little bit of wax at the top and also around the hairline and I am taking my hot comb and just kind of pressing everything in so that it can lay down really flat and look really nice and sleek this hot comb that I have is from Kendra's Boutique. I will make sure to leave all the products that I am using down below in the description area. I know the last time I checked, I think they were sold out because a lot of you guys always ask me about this hot comb. This hot comb is all that in a bag of chips. I have nothing negative to say about it at all. So now I'm just gonna go in and I am going to just lightly bump out everything just because it did have a little bit of a crease from sitting in the bag. And with this wig, it does come with kind of like a bang 
layered look. You guys know that I have the Alexis wig, which I love, but this one is layered, as you guys can tell in the front. So I just kind of bumped it under a little bit in the very front, and I didn't do it all the way around just because I wanted it to kind of, you know, when I push it back, I wanted the layers to really show. Also going to go around the hairline, especially on the side where I can see just a little bit of the lightness on the lace and just put some of my powder. I am using my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Creator Powder Palette and just going around the hairline. I'm actually not going to worry about putting any powder into the parting space because it does not need it at all. The bleach job is perfect and it matches me very well. Now, as far as the lace color, they do have the light brown and the medium brown option. I do have the medium brown lace color. And then I'm just going on the side where I feel like a little bit of the lace is showing and just taking my edge brush and just kind of lightly swooping, not to where it's like swoop to where it looks like baby hairs, or just lightly kind of covering it up just a little bit. You will also notice me taking the hot comb and going in between the parting space area and just making sure that everything is laying nice and flat. You don't want this to be bulky on your head at all, even though it pretty much comes laying flat already. I'm just taking the extra precaution. Now guys, honestly, with me styling this unit, the longest part was me getting the front of the lace to dry down once I put the spray on, but me flat ironing it, it took me literally probably 10 minutes to do all of this that I am doing. Of course, it's sped up, but it didn't take me any time because the hair was just so lightweight and so easy for me to work with. making sure everything is looking good i really want it to be flat once i tuck it behind my ear so now i am going to run through the hair with my garnier fruity sleek and shine serum and this is going to help combat any type of frizziness and flyaways however with the hair i did not notice a lot of frizziness and flyaways but i did notice some shorter hairs at the top of the unit which is what the wax stick is for you can also run some type of freeze spray through the comb and that'll help kind of lay it down also all right guys so this is miss april after i am done with it i will have to go in at the top of the unit i'm going to end up you know doing a little minor adjustments but guys i like this wig it's only 130 percent in density and i feel like this is going to be great for when it gets really really hot and then the length on this unit is perfect for me I do not like to wear like super long hair. And if I'm wearing a wig, I prefer between 14 to 18 inches. So the 16 works perfectly for me. The shina does start at 12 inches and then you can get it all the way up in the length 20 inches. And then they do have the silky texture, but you guys know if I'm choosing, I'm always gonna go with Miss Yaki just because I love the way that it feels and I feel like it looks the most natural. So I'm also like kind of swooping over a little bit of hairs on that side and then that's it. This unit, like I said, was so easy to style. You can wear this glueless. You do not have to do all the steps that I have done. Um, that is what the hairline looks like once again. And then as far as the parting space goes, like I said, you get the six inches of parting space. So you can put this up into a ponytail. Um, you could just do so many looks with this. Now I did not try to curl this per se, like with my wand curler, but I have curled the Alexis wig and it holds the curl really well with the smaller wand curler. So I can definitely try and see if this one is going to do the same thing. As far as shedding and tangling goes, I did get a very minimal amount of shedding and then tangling. I didn't get any while I was styling. Um, however, you know, you might get the regular little bit of tangling, but even with the Lexus wig, it wasn't bad off. And this one just seems so much lighter when it comes to the texture of this wig. Like y'all know I love Alexis, but April, Miss April might just be the runner up, especially when it gets hot and humid outside and you still wanna rock a wig. This one is going to look very natural, but not be too heavy. So let me know what you guys think about this wig. I'm feeling Miss April. If you are feeling this one, I'll make sure to leave all the links down below in the description area. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel once again. Turn those notifications on, share, and like this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.